News 5 is committed to following through on the stories impacting our community. And today we have some closure on a story we have been following since 2019. In August of that year, a North Olmsted funeral home was shut down and 40 boxes of human remains were found in a storage closet. News 5 anchor Rob Powers was in North Olmsted last fall as the city worked to lay all those remains to rest. The remains of two veterans were taken to the Ohio Western National Cemetery for burial. Now today, the remains of three more veterans from those storage closet boxes were given the dignity of a final resting place. Rob takes us there. At the Ohio Western Reserve National Cemetery, you will find rows and rows of gravestones, all in perfect alignment, standing at attention for our nation's fallen heroes. Today, three more were added to those ranks. It's the right thing to do, yes. Two World War II veterans, one who served in the Korean War. They were among the 40 boxes of remains found when a funeral home was shuttered in 2019. Those boxes were brought to North Olmsted City Hall and when Mayor Nicole Daly Jones took office last year. We're so pleased um, to be here today to, to bring this to a close. It, it's just sad. When I spoke with the city's Max Upton, a veteran himself, he told me he made it his mission. It's personal. It, yes. 100%. To see those remains get the burials they deserved. Those are, you know, my brothers and sisters. The city spent nearly a full year tracking down any loved ones or next of kin they could find. They were left. We don't leave a fallen person behind. With five sets of military remains, they were able to identify three unclaimed veterans with no one left to lay them to rest. So, the mayor's office took on that role. We are in North Olmsted and really throughout Northeast Ohio. I, I know always so appreciative of people who step up uh, to do the right thing. And at a ceremony attended by City Hall staffers and VFW representatives, these three heroes finally get the goodbye they deserve. My father and a lot of my family members are military people. Tremendous to us that we make sure that these men or women are properly taken care of. Though they'd never met these veterans in life, they showed up this morning to honor them in death. And after three ceremonies, three renditions of taps and three flags folded. Let them know that they are loved. These veterans can finally. And we are very proud. Rest in peace. Rob Powers, News 5. The city of North Olmsted says they have two more remains, both World War II veterans that they're still trying to identify right now. And once they do, those remains will be interred as well.